Oh, hello there. My name is Dara Toomey, and welcome to the Guide to Cork. It's the Guide to Cork! <coughs> we opened this video in the exact same spot that the local Cork film, The Young Offenders, opened itself. Remember that? Remember when the boys were talking about the thing? I enjoyed that now. Shut up. Cork is known by its locals as the People's Republic of Cork, or even the real capital of Iceland, Ireland. We're going to be looking at some of the landmarks that makes Cork pure class, boy. Did I say right? It's the guy to Behind me stands one of the tallest mountains in the whole of Ireland, St. Patrick's Hill. Now, legend has it is St. Patrick himself, over 30 years ago, founded this hill. Every year, hundreds of brave pilgrims attempt to best this summit, but most of them die. Behind me stands one of Cork's most famous landmarks, Shandon Bells. Now, rumour has it is that the bones of Eamon de Valera himself are buried somewhere within these grounds. Oh, I think I found them. These are rat bones! It's the guy! Behind me is the statue of the founder of Cork himself, Brezzy. And what happened was Brezzy and the lads from Boyzone came down from Dublin and conquered all the Marsh people. They erected the first ever TK Maxx and made Cork the city it is today. Behind me is the home of the Lord Mayor of Cork himself, Keen Toomey. Keen! Do you want to laugh? Now, since Keen and his girlfriend moved in in 2014, Cork has had nothing but peace and prosperity. What heroin problem? It's the they say you're not really from Cork unless you've fallen into this very fountain on a night out. Mmm, shame. <laughs> Subscribe to me. In Cork, we have two whole McDonald's, which are 500 meters away from each other. This one here is known as the Blue McDonald's. Where we are now is Paul Street. Now, Paul Street is famous for its regular congregation of local Goths. Now, these Goths come from as far as Mahan every week just to, just to worship Satan and... If you're looking to adopt a Goth, dude, come here. I know it may seem quiet now, but where I am now is the heart of Cork's nightlife. And in a couple of hours, you'll have all the young people from all over Cork spilling out of, of Sless & Co. <laughs> Sless & Co? <laughs> Behind me stands the crown jewel of Cork City itself, University College Cork, or better known as not CIT. I didn't get enough points in my leaving search, so D didn't go here. Unfortunately, not everything in Cork is as pretty as what I've got to show you today. No, what lies behind me today is the ruins of one of Cork's most prestigious and luxurious apartments and holiday homes. There was a grim accident a couple of months ago that led to the death of a young man. Rumours have it, that clowns have. And so ends our short guide to this wonderful city. Now, I'm sorry that we couldn't make the video any longer or include some more landmarks, but um, I, I couldn't come up with any more jokes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, um, that's great. Goodbye. Bounce. Just keep doing that.